All right, guys, looks like we have uh, just about everybody here, and we'll go ahead and get started with Coach Petrino today. Uh, we have got players on last week with no uh, no game, so we'll just let Coach do the heavy lifting for us today. Uh, the Bears are up to number 15 in the uh, Stats FCS poll this week, and they're taking on Youngstown State uh, 2 o'clock Saturday on Senior Day at Plaster. Coach, just talk to us a little bit about uh, that game and how your team's preparing for uh, Youngstown State. Good. Yeah. Well, we basically had a, a bye week last week, so it was a it was a good week for us. We cut back a little bit early in the week. We had two really good hard practices, uh, then gave them a couple days off over the weekend. We'll get out there today, have an extra practice for the for the week. It's kind of a you know one of those half practices where you work hard on individual technique work and work the rest of it on getting ready for Youngstown. Uh, then a normal week from from here on out. So uh, certainly the extra practices um, should help us in our preparation. Uh, we also got to watch them play the other night and their, you know, um, game and uh, they're a physical team. They, they play good defense. They run hard to the ball. They've got really good running back and running quarterback. Something that we really haven't faced this year is the quarterback run style. So We've got to do a good job in our preparation for that and understanding where our eyes need to be and doing our assignment. It's a lot of assignment football when you face a, a running quarterback. So we're looking forward to it. Um, we need a good week of practice and, and uh, you know, make sure we got everybody ready, healthy and ready to go. Does it feel like the last week of the season? I mean, it's so weird in the spring and everything. And, of course, you feel like you should be playing a little more after this as well. Just kind of what's the plan for after this week? You don't really know. Yeah, we really don't know. I'm, I'm actually going to try not to even think about it. And just let, let's go find a way to win this game. And then when the game's over with, then we deal with it, the you know, however you should. I really don't know what, you know, I don't know if we legitimately have a chance to get in or we don't or whatever. Um, but if we don't win this game, we know we don't have a chance at all. So all of our focus and concentration just needs to be for Youngstown. You mentioned the running quarterback and the threat that that poses. Is that what concerns you the most about uh, this Young State team, Youngstown State well, team? Well, they're running backs. You know, they got this little number eight. I, I shouldn't say little because he's, he's, he's got big hips and big legs and he's fast and um, you know, he's, he's as good a running back as we've seen on video, uh, his ability to break tackles and break long runs. And then they also bring in another guy, number 20, who's physical and bigger. Uh, so they have really good backs and then the quarterback adds another, um, responsibility for our defense. So it's, it's going to be one of those things that there's no question. We're going to have to stop the run to win the game. Uh, Coach, I mean, is there a little bit of disappointment in the fact that you're not even being considered for something postseason? And then how do you keep the guys from kind of getting that same feeling? Yeah, no, I don't think so at all. We're just worried about this one game. And that's how you have to approach everything is if we can just focus on our preparation, go out on the practice field, have the same intensities, the same focus, the same amount of fun on the practice field that we've had all week and get ready for this game. Uh, and the, the thing we have to do is win. We got to win this game and um, that happens. Who knows what happens? So uh, not, uh, nothing else matters to us, but this game. Just the turnaround you guys have had. You've seen the growth from the first time you saw them in Oklahoma to just kind of getting to this point now. Um, just how excited, just seeing the quick growth from you guys, does it make you just for um, a, a fall season, just kind of going forward with this team as well and this program? Well, it's been really fun to watch the growth and watch their practice and the way that we go about our business on the practice field and our meetings. And, um, you know, we're much more serious. We, we uh, correct each other on the field. We've got players that will lead and, and, uh, tell someone when they're not doing something right and being able to, you know, help each other out on the, on the practice field. And, you know, we, we truly do believe that the process you go through in, in practice and you earn the right to win on the practice field. And that's what we've really been trying to stress throughout the entire year. And then you get to go out on game day and have fun and compete. And, and uh, I think that's the thing we've really seen from our team, you know, even, even in the fall is how hard they'll compete. Uh, we just weren't really sure how to how to find a way to win in the, in the fall, but we certainly have grown and matured and some of the new guys have helped us a lot. 
um, and we need to finish it strong. So we need to get a win. Coach, uh, Rick mentioned something about senior day, kind of. Uh, I mean, do you have anybody that's going to not come back uh, to the program after the game on Saturday? Yeah, I'm not really sure about that either. You know, we talked to him earlier in the in the uh, semester and told him what the options will be and said, let's focus on playing. Let's focus on uh, getting the spring season over with and then sit down and visit about it. And obviously, we've got guys that have, you know, futures outside of football that, um, you know, we had a couple of guys in after the fall season that decided that they they couldn't play football anymore. They both wanted to, but they needed to student teach this spring and get their degrees finished up and, you know, have jobs set up for the fall. So um, each guy will be an individual case and we'll just sit down when, when we're done playing and, and see where we're at and see how we manage the roster. That's an, another thing that's an issue will be roster management. Coach, I think it's uh, pretty safe to say you've got two pretty good quarterbacks on your roster. What did you – did you see anything special from either of them or from the competition with the extra week of practice? Uh, yeah, it was fun, actually. They were going out there and, and uh, competing, and Jake's in the in the mix, too. And, you know, I, I like the way they're pushing each other last week in practice and, and uh, how hard they were working, how every single rep meant something to them. I think that's what competition does is – it brings out the best in everybody because you don't want to miss one rep. You don't want to miss one pass. You don't want to, you know, they're, they're fighting to get every single rep in, in practice. And, and that's great to see. And, and then they also get along and help each other out and, you know, tell each other what they see and what they don't see. And uh, so right now it's, it's been uh, a really good relationship with all the quarterbacks and Nick and, and the way they work on the field. Spring's been a little bit of a mess as far as COVID te teams getting COVID and backing out. I mean, you guys have seen it from opponents backing out. Just how beneficial has the spring been for you guys? Just uh, it, you guys were able to do some things in the fall, but uh, just how weird the spring has been. You guys keep playing and uh, haven't backed out yet, but what, what has this done for you guys just kind of going forward? Yeah, I think the one thing it does is let you appreciate, you know, how much you – how much fun playing football is and how our players have been able to um, handle all the outside distractions and obstacles to get on the practice field. Um, what, you know, it's a great experience for them and, and should certainly carry over, you know, the next football season, but also to things that will happen to them in life, which you, which will be good. But I mean, you come to practice every day, you work hard and then you're not sure whether you're going to play, you know, over the weekend. Uh, and last, last Monday was like black Monday, you know, everybody, all of a sudden games were canceled. This game was canceled. That game was canceled. We're all looking at each other going, what the heck's going on? Um, so, so far today has been quiet. So I'm hoping <laughs> it just stays quiet and everybody plays this weekend and everybody's healthy and, um, and you understand it too, because we went through it in the, in the fall, you know, there was one practice I can remember. Someone said we had 38 guys that were rate, that could practice. And you're looking down on one end and looking down on the other and saying, oh, my gosh, how is this going to – how are we ever going to be able to play a game? Um, and eventually it, it worked out. And, and uh, so far this, this spring we've been um, fairly healthy. Uh, Coach, do, is there um... – because of the success that you had at the, at the end of this spring season, is it going to change any of the game planning that you thought going into the fall? I mean, you're going to maybe accelerate some things because the guys are being so successful. You know, what we're going to do is as soon as the season's over with, we'll sit down and evaluate everything, you know, where our offense is, what our roster on offense looks like, where we are defensively, what that looks like, special teams, um, try to put a good plan together on, you know, where we're going to be, um, we're going to have to give these guys some time off. So we've got to sit down and see what exactly the schedule looks like. It'll definitely be different than a normal, you know, late spring, summer schedule, because they're going to have to recover. They're going to have to, you know, get some time away. And, and one of the things you find when people play year round things is, is uh, non-contact injuries show up and we certainly don't need any non-contact injuries. So, they're going to need some time in the weight room, some time off the field, some time to just recover physically and, and then hopefully build and get stronger. That's that's one area where I feel like we haven't had the, the type of training 
um, that we would like is in the weight room on getting bigger and stronger and, and faster. We haven't even timed any of these guys in the 40. That, that's how different it, it is. And, and that's one of the things I truly believed in was getting a, a 10 time, a 20 time and a 40 time and getting better at it and working on form running. And um, we have zero marks on a 40 yard dash. So uh, hopefully we'll get that done here um, in the summertime sometime. Coach, just going back to the whole playoff situation, is that something that you guys are even focused about or worried about? Because I remember in the UNI game, you guys, it seemed like you guys didn't even know the significance of like it, a game hadn't been won there in so many years. And it, just to my thinking, maybe you guys aren't, you know, paying attention necessarily fully to the playoff rankings and where you're sitting and stuff like that. You're more worried game to game. Is that the case? And if so, do you try to, you know, mitigate and, regulate your players and coaches and stuff, looking at those rankings and paying attention to that stuff. Yeah. Well, I don't talk about it and I don't think our players talk about it. And um, it's something that we know is out of our control. The only thing we can control is to go out and, and, and win on Saturday. You know um, I'd like to end up five and one and, and be able to say we're co-champions. If, if that's how that works out too, I have no idea if the, how that works out. Nobody knows anything around here. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe when we don't know anything, we just play football and, um, you know, don't worry about it. So uh, that's kind of how it's been. We, we can't even think about the playoffs. We just got to think about winning Saturday. How that's crazy does, it, ever, how, how crazy does that sound to you, though? Yep. It sounds pretty crazy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy, no question. I'm just fun. How crazy does it sound to you? I mean, we're having this conversation. We're talking about playoffs, and it's uh, this is your first year here, but they haven't been to the playoffs since you were coaching against them on that, that day year, 30 years ago. Uh, just, just the significance of uh, kind of even being in the conversation right now, just in your first year as head coach. And so I, I'm sure you can appreciate that. Yeah, well, I appreciate how hard our players have worked and our assistant coaches have, have worked and, and the fact that we've um, learned how to win and have enjoyed it and then come back the next week and stay hungry and practice better and see the growth in practice and the preparation. And that's what's really been fun to see and, and see guys that, you know, haven't experienced a whole lot of success and now they are. Um, and how that just changes, you know, their outlook and, and changes their motivation. And um, it's been fun and, and enjoyable to, to see our players react the way they have. Uh, Coach, you mentioned uh, like learning how to win. And I remember you hammering that home in the fall season. You were just like, I'm proud of the preparation that we put in. I'm proud that, you know, our players and we're starting to learn how to win what all went into that from the players and the staff side to, you know, from going 0-3 in the fall against some good competition to being 4-1 and one in Missouri Valley play? Well, I think it started with, uh, you know, competition and practice and, and working and in, in, uh, trying to win the competitions in practice and the third and shorts in practice and the goal line practice and, you know, trying to, you know, get better at that and being competitive and, um, certainly offensively, it, it uh, changed when we were learning how to take care of the football and not beat ourselves. Cause I really felt like in, in the, in the games early, we were beating ourselves, not giving ourselves a chance to compete, to win. Um, but we've, we've been doing a lot better job of reducing penalties, taking care of the football, limiting big plays. Uh, and sacking the quarterback, you know, there's there's no question that when you're in a game and, and it's close and they have to throw the football, we have good pass rushers and their ability to get after the quarterback has, has uh, influenced just about every game that we've won. Coach, have you heard anything from the Valley Football Conference about possibly rescheduling that last week? No, I haven't heard anything. I don't, I, I don't, I don't think there is a chance. <laughs> 